Our roads are becoming more dangerous. Deadly traffic crashes are on track to kill more people this year than in 2021. And the State Traffic Safety Commission calls the increase alarming. Fox 13 Steve Kiggins is in Pierce County with their plea for drivers. Just yesterday, a 35 year old mother driving with a teenager in the passenger seat. They crashed right here on 161 here in Graham. The State Patrol says they don't yet know exactly the cause. But neither the driver or the passenger were wearing their seatbelts. This driver, she died at the scene, adding yet another number to a growing trend. The balloons wave in the wind, tied down where flowers marked the last place where a crash took a life in Graham. SR 161 was blocked for around three hours. Around 8.20 Monday evening, troopers say a Ford Escape driving northbound lost control, rolled, then careened into the ditch landing on the roof. A 15-year-old passenger survived, but troopers say 35-year-old Amberlyn Lenné died at the scene. Exactly how the crash began is still under investigation, but neither were wearing seatbelts, say troopers. We are very concerned uh, with the increases that we've seen. Mike McKenzie with the State Transportation Safety Commission says deaths on Washington's roads are climbing, so the agency is launching a public awareness blitz to promote a community-based approach where everyone, drivers and passengers, are keeping safety top of mind. Reminding each other to be safe, peer pressure can be a positive thing. Something amazing happens when you buckle a seatbelt. This is just one of several public safety announcements you'll see on TV, online, and on your phone. The campaign coincides with what's called the 100 deadliest days, a time where teens behind the wheel die in crashes far more often than any other time of year between Memorial Day and Labor Day. The message, eliminate distractions. It includes phone calls, texting, web surfing, even meetings while behind the wheel and never drive intoxicated. 663 families learned the pain of losing a loved one behind the wheel last year. The commission hopes the campaign pushes that number lower this year. There really aren't a lot of uh, phone calls or texts that are worth risking your life for. Washington says so far this year, there's been 168 deaths on Washington State roads, not to mention at least nine of those fatal wrecks included teenagers. In Pierce County, Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.